Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm a bit sick right now, so don't mind anything about my voice or whatever. But today I'm going to be um, introducing, kind of just giving a preview of my client base that I've been working on, and that's GZ Base. Um, and basically, this base is a little bit different from something like QuickSpace or um, Nefarious Intense Base or just something like that. This base is actually not constructor based. It's um, annotation based. So what that means is um, you'll see right over here, right? Uh, this is actually an annotation. So yes, it has everything like a module class and it still has to extend module however it makes it a lot easier to write mods and a lot faster as well I'm gonna give you an example of my test module right here as you can see there's no constructors there's no um, headaches of having to write that you just have to simply declare it a at client mod with a category of category dot world and name of test now this uses a HUD module system and um, a module system all in one, eliminating the use of multiple um, uh, multiple um, like mod systems. And I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. As you can see, I have a very simple FPS mod here. And to make it a HUD mod, all you got to do is HUD mod equals true, specify some X and Y coordinates right over here. And then you have all your simple methods, render dummy, render. And um, this base also comes in with a um, like HUD system, HUD config system, just like QuickSpace. However, it's a lot more clean and less buggy than the um, drag components that quick was using um, now <clears throat> this isn't any like hate to quick space or whatever but it is a little old and this is just a newer version of that same base now um, the module manager was going to have automatic adding um, it was going to scan over like files and automatically add them to an array list or hash map but I couldn't figure out reflections and I didn't really want to go through that headache. So, um, yeah, basically you just add the modules here the same way you would um, in a normal system. And it automatically, and, and this is what I'll, I'll have too, it, it'll be a GUI builder. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do some way of like... Uh, I don't even know. Maybe maybe I'll do like a, a way to build a GUI in JSON or something. Um, but um, coming over here in the GUI section, I'm not going to go over there too much, but it'll have uh, automatic mod adding with a for loop um, and that, and, you know, GL scissoring and all that. So all you have to do is basically get a GUI set up, all your color schemes and whatever set up, and it'll be fine. Um, coming over to um, all the mixins, wherever that is, um, it's very simple. Uh, I have a lot of stuff over here just because this is actually a client that I've been working on with um, Iconic, but um, that's basically the gist of it. It's like it's just this uh, single mixin class, I think. Um, and obviously you can see over here the main makes it very easy to get started um and you have some getters and setters uh and it's pretty um simple so um yeah it'll have a and and i i just have to do the config system which hasn't been done yet so that will get done soon but i just wanted to basically showcase what this um, GUI, I mean this uh, base does and the um, simplicity of the base. So yeah, thank you guys for listening, watching. Um, like I said, I've been trying to post more frequently, so drop a uh, 
drop a like, subscribe, comment. I don't really know, you know. I'm just been trying to stay active, you know. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.